it's funny you said that. I literally, I literally just saw that. I literally just saw that, and uh, that I mean, sometimes it'd it be like that is what I have to say. I mean, sometimes you just got to throw it up. He's a little dude, but he goes and catches it, and he's, and he's pretty fast, so uh, usually good things happen. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's that. He's really good at adjusting to the ball. I mean, he's world class. If if not his speed, that's probably the best thing that he, that he's, that he does is adjusting when the ball's in the air. And then I think it's kind of that thing where if he gets past you, it's kind of like you're, you're trying to get there with everything you have. So the DB was running as hard as he could because if I threw a good ball, he probably would have ran thrown over the top. And he uh, was able to adjust and make a play. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Um, I think we just have a lot of belief in this team. Uh, we've been in those situations before, and we think that we can win no matter what the situation is. Um, and then getting that play to Tyreek kind of got the crowd back into it. And when you're at Arrowhead and that crowd's rolling, it gets the defense going, and it kind of translates to the offense. And so uh, um, I'm just glad that we found a way to win against a really good football team. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's week one. Uh, I mean, obviously, that's a really good football team. Uh, we had to battle and find a way to get a win. Um, but a lot of things happen during a season. I think uh, week one is important because you want to win a game against a team that you think that w has a chance to be in the playoffs and you think you do. Uh, so it just could matter at the end of the season. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it takes a week by week, day by day mentality to, to, to get there at the, in the end. Yeah, they actually they played a little bit different coverage. They that they had been playing to our empty kind of package there. They threw a little wrinkle and it, they covered up Kels pretty good. Um, and I looked at McColl and he was getting covered pretty good. And I, I kind of started scrambling. And I, I joked around Tyreek. I said I saw this little hand just pop up like this, and I was like, if I can just throw it far enough. Um, and so uh, I threw. I didn't throw it far enough, but he adjusted, made the catch, and then in the, in, once he's in space, it's touchdown. Yeah, I mean, I, I always talk to those guys and, and, and tell them, like, we're going we're gonna to keep scoring. We're going to keep giving you all chances. Um, but at the end of the day, I think guys just stepped up. I mean, we were out without Tyron. We were without Frank, who obviously are great football players, but they're great leaders on that defense. Um, so a lot of young guys had to step in and play. And then guys like Chris stepped up and made some, a few sacks. And then those young guys stepped up and started making plays and plays. And then Mike with the pick at the end. Yeah, I thought they did a great job. Um, there was times I, I would drift it back just a little bit too far, um, kind of got, and they were getting the guys coming on that ten yard area, and I had to step up pretty quickly. Um, but we'll continue to work on that. They're doing a great job of being firm in the front um, and kind of edging those guys. So I, I got to step up into the pocket, and uh, they, they did a great job today against, like you said, a really good defensive line. <laughs> No, I mean, they're, they're, those guys had opportunities. If you watch the film, those guys are open. I mean, there was a play, I think I threw to Tyreek on the, down the middle, like, kind of down to the, I guess, the left sideline at the time for us. There, there's a sideline where I hit Tyreek, but if, you, if I would have just had a little bit more time, McColl was popping for a touchdown. Um, and there's a play to D-Rob where I've hit that play to D-Rob a thousand times where I kind of underthrew him, and it, it, was, it was short. Um, so, I mean, those guys are going to make plays. I mean, in this offense, with guys like Tyreek and, and Travis taking so much attention, they'll make plays, and I have the trust in them that they'll do it. Patrick, on your first time running, it, it looked like Trey Smith had a pancake in Alabama and just sort of staggered and leaned it down. Mm. What was your reaction? That kind of opened the lane for you. What, 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 was, your, what was your reaction when you saw that pass? Yeah. Like it yeah, I kind of went through the reads. They covered it really well, the play um, that, we, that we ran. Um, and so it, it wasn't supposed to be held that long, so they, those guys were kind of coming off the ball really fast. and. And they, they made some great blocks. Um, and so I was able to kind of make that one guy miss. And then I was running. And the whole time I'm looking for someone to throw to or slide. And then it just seems like I kind of like found a way to get in the end zone. So it was uh, it gave me false confidence, I said, because I tried to cut it back again and got, got popped by two dudes. So I'll try to stay away from that.
Yeah, I think it's like kind of what I said. It's the belief that we have in each other. We believe as an offense, defense is going to get a stop when it when it when it comes to it, and the defense believes that we're going to go down there and find a way to score. Um, and so uh, I think that belief in each other and uh, going out there and battling against a good football team. And I think what made it feel like a playoff game was the crowd. I mean, it was it was insane. It was one of the one of the best crowds I've I've seen since I've been here. And I think that was, that was a momentum swing that we kind of got in our favor. Yeah, I mean, I think it kind of depends week by week, but I mean, he's such he, he understands coverages so well, and so when you're playing a team that plays a lot of zone coverages, um, and they're flipping zones and changing, they have great players. He he can kind of read it on the fly, and so uh, I think the one touchdown I hit him after the turnover uh, with the the fumble off the, off the, the the punter, he was supposed to go in kind of in more, and he just saw that the, how they had pushed in the line with their their linebackers, that he could kind of just stay vertical, and I just put it on him, and he scored. You said that was uh, G. Lou. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even know it was G. Lou. I, I was kind of there was a big scrum, so I didn't get to see it all. But uh, I mean, I think it's just we 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 fight for each other. I mean, we battle for each other. It's a brotherhood, um, and I don't think we liked how the, the guy got up on top of Clyde. And I don't think he was really trying to do anything but get him off Clyde if if it, if it was him. But uh, it escalated, it got settled down, and we, we were able to go out and move on and, and find a way to get points. Yeah, I think it's just a, it's kind of you've been through these situations before with these guys. I mean, we, we obviously have new O linemen and new players, um, but the core, we have the core guys that have found ways to win. If it was the playoff game against the Texans, if it was the Super Bowl, or if it was last year when we kind of came back and won all those games, uh, we found ways to win games at the end of the day. And I saw you have that belief in each other, uh, which makes you believe that you can find a way to win in any single game.